Behind the auditorium, you find the old botanical garden, including the historical greenhouse. This garden shows flora from before 300 million years. It was built as an orangery in 1857. The old botanical garden was founded in 1763 by Albrecht von Haller and was meant to be a learning location for medical students. The garden is, after the one in Berlin Steglitz, the most species rich garden in all of Germany. In the Cycad house, there's a quite popular plant, the Titanwurz. There are also many fragrant flowers like classic roses, lavender, and more special ones from all over the world. And you can do a virtual tour via QR codes. Come and discover different areas of the world wandering from one hillock to another. There's also a cozy cafe where you can take a rest and feed your soul and body. The garden and the greenhouses are beside the wall. During the Middle Ages, the wall was the base for the city wall, which was 4 meters high. Later then, in the 18th century, the wall was raised and 460 summer linden trees were planted. One of them, planted in 1765, still exists today. It's close to the Bismarck House, the only still existing wall tower, and yes, indeed, the later Chancellor Otto von Bismarck lived here for about half a year during his studies in Göttingen. Today, it's a museum in his honor. There are several spots from which you have a magnificent view over the city or some parks, the botanical garden as well. There, you find something special regarding sustainability. In 1992, pupils from the Heinberg Gymnasium designed the Tropical Wood Memorial, which won the competition Accession to the Climate Alliance for the Preservation of the Earth's Atmosphere. The Alliance's members, in support of and out of respect for indigenous peoples, renounced the tropical wood that was popular at the time. You see, sustainability and awareness for man-made climate change have long-standing tradition in Göttingen. But let's go on to the heart of the town now. For a very long time, Göttingen city centre did not have a pedestrian zone. A few years after the pedestrian zone was established, a fountain made of acrylic glass was built at this central point. However, this 5 meters high glass pillar did not seem to be very popular. After only 4 hours, it was vandalized. Over the years, its water was regularly dyed in different colors. Therefore, the city called for new artworks, one of which was the statue you can find there today, called The Dance. But the place is better known under its nickname, Der Nabel. Since it's such a central place and distinctive location, it's a popular spot to meet up with friends when you want to spend some time in the city. And here, in the middle of the town, are even more art-like pieces of remembrance. The Night Without Rust was placed high above the Wiener Straße on a rooftop in 2014. It's a replica of the one which stood there in former times, around 1900. In those days, you found the restaurant to the night and the Hotel National in this house. The impressive figure measures two meters in height, but as you may know, he's not the only famous person in town. Göttingen has a history association for Göttingen and the surrounding area that works together with the Stadtarchiv. One of their projects was to make it visible which well-known people lived in Göttingen for a while. So they decided to affix insignias to more than 100 houses so these houses would tell clues of their stories. In the Wenda Straße, for example, four renowned people stayed for a while. Alexander from Humboldt stayed here for a year from 1789 onwards, as well as Ludwig Tieck, a popular German poet. There's a person whose sculpture you can find two times in town. One of the figures for his memorial is on a bench close to the old Zub. Let's go there! The old state and university library of Göttingen keeps the treasures of scientific history and heritage sites. There are some reading rooms you can use to study and there is a special one in the first floor. In the Paulina church you can participate in different lectures, discussions or discover several special exhibitions each year regarding the scientific history of Göttingen. If you're lucky, you may even have a seminar in the Schlözer chamber in the second floor. This room is named after Dorothea Schlözer, the first woman at the University of Göttingen who was allowed to receive a doctor's degree. The historic library holds a very special treasure, an outstanding copy of the Gutenberg Bible entirely printed on parchment from approximately 1454. All of the 1282 pages are abundantly decorated. 
In front of the museum, you can also see a mythological sculpture, der Butt im Griff, the butt under control. A sculpture that stands for one of Günter Grass' most popular books, the Butt. Do you remember the political sculpture at the place of the Göttinger 7? It was also worked out by Günter Grass. But as mentioned before, here you can find one of two monuments for the remembrance of another important figure from Göttingen's history. Sit down and have a meet and greet with Georg Christoph Lichtenberg in life size in the middle of numerous books. His double stands at the old market. Georg Christoph Lichtenberg came to Göttingen in 1763 and studied mathematics, physics, architecture, aesthetics, philosophy, European history and English literature. He's known for his Zudelbücher, aphoristic considerations he worked on for more than 30 years, as well as for his enlightenment writings and character teachings.